A combination of more bad weather, a couple of missed chances and another fine innings from Somerset's Nick Compton meant that Middlesex missed the chance to go to the top of the LV County Championship table after they drew a game at Lords which they dominated throughout. With play not getting underway until 12.15, Chris Rogers had no option but to declare Middlesex's first innings closed on their overnight 364 for three, which gave them a first innings lead of 191. And after Aral Sapir had streakily got Somerset's second innings moving, Middlesex soon had every chance of claiming a brilliant win after first Sapir edged the fitter game Corey Collimore to David Milan. And then Alex Barrow completed a pair by going LBW to Tim Murta. That left Somerset on four for two after three overs and in real danger of slipping to a defeat, one which would have given Middlesex enough points to go to the top of the table for the first time this summer. They were made to wait 19 overs though for their next breakthrough as Compton and James Hildreth, the two leading run scorers in the first class game this summer, combined to add a crucial 77 runs for the third wicket. Both played some crunching shots. But in trying another one, Hildreth gave his wicket away on 38 by mistiming a pull off Toby Roland Jones, which landed safely into the hands of Owen Morgan. Roland Jones then put Somerset back in big trouble by finding the edge of Craig Keyswetter's bat, Milan taking the catch again to lead the visitors to Lords on 90 for four. The big moment of the day soon followed as Compton was dropped at slip by Ollie Rayner. A tough chance, but a hugely significant one, with Somerset still 80 runs adrift at this point. Joss Butler was also missed by Gareth Berg before striking this all run four, although that life was not as costly. We were less than midway through the day at this point, and with the bad weather now heading north, a full day's play from here was now on the cards. Butler gave an easier chance to Milan off Berg after making 16, and that left Somerset in a precarious position on 113 for five. Compton was still there, and he reached the 50 mark for the eighth time in 13 championship innings this year. That was his sixth four in an innings thus far lasting 81 balls. He then put the blockers up for the rest of the day to deny his former county. While he did that, Peter Trigo came out to play his shots with the view that if he could just get his side ahead, then that would use up valuable time in this crunch game. Yet again, he proved to be a vital cog in this injury-ravaged Somerset lineup. Trigo did have some fortune in this knock, however. On many other days, he would have been run out. There is such a thin line between success and failure in this wonderful game, as Middlesex were discovering. There was nothing lucky about this shot, however. It went for six, and soon enough Trigo was in his own half century. He needed just 52 balls to get there, dealing mostly in boundaries. Indeed, 42 of his 50 runs had come that way. He was out two balls later, bold as he tried to drive Murta, and Middlesex were favourites for the win again when Craig Overton was bounced out for the second time in the match to complete an ungainly pair. Somerset was still 15 runs behind, with time enough for Middlesex to claim a win they certainly deserved. To be fair, Somerset have been denied victories themselves by the weather this summer. This shot from Alfonso Thomas finally took his side into the lead, and he now knew that he just had to stick in for a little while longer. That he did in company with Compton, as this pair added 51 runs before it became obvious that the game would be drawn. Compton had survived for more than four and a half hours for his 69, while Thomas ended on 39 out of his side's 227 for seven. Middlesex were denied, but took 10 points to Somerset's four to close the gap between the two to just a single point. Both are tucked in just behind the top two at the midsummer's break and are still very much realistic challengers for this year's title.